Okay guys, the title of this video is No More Fat Shots Ever. And the reason I'm doing this video now is because I just got back from Terranea, which is a little resort in uh, Palos Verdes in, in Southern California, and they have a little nine hole par three course. I personally haven't hit a fat shot in years. I remember Tom Watson saying, this was probably like five or six years ago, or maybe even more, I remember in an interview he said he hadn't hit a fat shot since like 1987. And that was always interesting to me, but I understood it. Once I learned how to hit the ball correctly, I knew I would never struggle with hitting it fat ever again. And I think, as you can see from those images that I put in the email, um, if you're seeing this on YouTube and you're not seeing these images, um, you should join the email list on sampletogolf.com. But if you're getting this from the email, you'll see in those images, this is Felice. She's played golf about six times, two practice sessions and four rounds, and those rounds are nine whole rounds. Now, to be fair, she only plays with three clubs, a seven iron pitching wedge and a putter. But the way she plays is a game that I think probably some golfers have been spending 10 or 15 years of their golfing life haven't been able to find the way that she plays, and that is by hitting solid shots every time. So she doesn't, she doesn't hit the ball solid every single time, but when she focuses on the right things, she does hit it solid. So I wanted to talk about this no more fat shots ever idea because I know that if you focus on a couple really key fundamentals, you'll never hit another fat shot again. Many of you guys are familiar with the square to square swing and what I teach. I'm sure if you're, if you're seeing this in the email, you've already read the ebook. If you haven't read the ebook, go ahead. There's, I'll put a link in here to get the ebook if you don't have it. Um, but the idea is really simple. We take out all the big, crazy moving parts of the golf swing, like all the wrist hinge and roll and flippiness of the golf swing and we just focus primarily on impact. And we do that by setting up an address with the club in the position that looks like the way we want it to be at impact. And then we try to maintain those angles, and you'll see in those images, if you go back after you watch this video, if you go back and look at those images, you'll see that at least from setup to finish, I shouldn't say to finish, but from setup to just after impact, which is the last image I have in that email, you'll see that she maintains the angle she sets at address throughout the entire swing. So you can imagine if you set up, and most of us know at this point that at impact, we want to have the shaft leaning slightly forward, especially with an iron. If you set up with that angle, and you maintain that angle throughout your golf swing, you come back to impact with that angle, you're going to have a solid shot. So the idea is super simple. Eliminate all the junk, eliminate all the stuff you don't need, make it as easy as possible to create that solid impact, and why not start there? Why not set up there? So if you've been in the Square to Square Swing program, if you've gone through the blueprint, or if you've done other things along with this method and you're still not hitting every single shot solid, it's because your focus is in the wrong place. So get your focus, I would say just in your next practice session, just go out there with the 100% intent to create solid contact. Do that by resetting the alignments at address, so get set up where you really feel like you're in an impact position with the shaft angle. And then just make the smallest swing, I don't want to say the biggest, but make the swing that you can control. So not the smallest swing possible, but not the biggest swing possible either. Make the smallest swing or the kind of the swing length that you can make where you can ensure that you can maintain these alignments and then just turn through and, and have the intention to be to maintain those alignments if you can do that, you will be hitting it solid. Once you're hitting it solid, then you can increase backswing, then you can increase turn, and then you can add other clubs. So I, I, to close this off, I just want to say, I think Felice is at a big, she's got a major benefit in that she hasn't learned any of these bad techniques. She doesn't have any like have habitual moves in her backswing that are causing her problems. She's literally only been focusing on creating solid contact since she started golfing. And I know that for those of you who have habits and have swing shapes and movements that are ingrained, this is going to be a little bit more challenging. But I'm telling you, if you just focus on impact, if you focus on creating that ideal impact position at address and maintaining it throughout the swing, you will be getting that. That's, if we focus on that, that's what we're going to get. So do it first in small shots and then move on to bigger shots and bigger clubs. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment on this video or check out Sam, samwoodlegolf.com for more information. And I've got a bunch of stuff on Instagram and, and other places as well. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. And get out there and do it in your next practice session. 
say, I'm going to focus 100% on solid contact, and I think you'll be surprised about how good you actually hit it with that.